best barbecue in Los Angeles. It's a beautiful day for some meat. Up first, we're at Swinging Door Texas Barbecue in North Hollywood. Let's get it. All right, so this place, very fast. I just ordered 10 minutes ago. It's already here. I am pretty excited today. I love barbecue. I love meat. I love when there's meat in my mouth. Pause, no pause. I don't even care. Are you ready? So what we have today is a two combo plate. It comes with two meats, two sides. Got garlic mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. And then we got brisket and tri-tip. And then you have the option if you want cornbread or garlic bread. I'm a garlic bread guy. And then we got spicy barbecue sauce and regular barbecue sauce. Oh, it smells so good. I love barbecue. All right, I believe this is tri-tip. And then I believe this is brisket. And you could get less fatty or fatty. I got fatty because I'm a fatty. Here's what we're gonna do. Go mild first. That's good tri-tip, bro. I like the sauce, too. Sauce is good. Going spicy now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's got a kick. Ooh, I like that. Y'all are like me and you like spicy, you're gonna like that. That's good. Look at this garlic bread. So garlicky. I'm a whore for garlic bread. I'm a little garlic bread slut. I don't care. Garlic bread is so good. Oh my God. Wow, sensational. Key to my heart, garlic bread. Want me to like you? Just give me good garlic bread. That's all I ask for. All right, we're gonna dab into the sides. Garlic mash, a very essential barbecue side in my opinion. Oh yeah. Garlic is just so good, bro. Elite vegetable, bro. Mm. Has good mashed potatoes. Not too like buttery. Also too, mac and cheese, I know is going to be a very big thing in today's video, because mac and cheese and barbecue just go hand in hand, like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know, Shaq and Kobe, whatever. It doesn't have to be like the greatest mac and cheese ever, but it has to be solid, at least, all right? You know what? This one's just like a very simple, neutral mac and cheese, which I kind of like. Like it just has just enough cheese flavor in it to where you know you're eating mac and cheese, but it's not like doing too much, you know? This makes me forget that I'm lactose intolerant. I don't even feel like eating mac and cheese right now. This is good. I like it. Simple, in my opinion, is better all the time. Up next, we're trying to fatty brisket. Look at the fat on this boy. Can y'all see that? It's just nice and moist, juicy, smells smoky. <sighs> To the Mac. Mm. Wow, I like this place a lot, Loki. Okay, we're doing the fatty part and the spicy. Have to. Mm. Mm. Wow, that was really good. That was a really good bite. Oh my god, the fat on there, bro, really just melts in your mouth. It absorbed the spicy sauce really well. Wow. And the total for everything came out to $26. Honestly, this is a lot of food for $26. Overall, I'm gonna have to give this place like an eight and a half. I really, like, really, really enjoy it. Do I think it's like the most like crazy barbecue ever? No, but it's just like solid, bro. You, like, you can count on it, you know what I mean? It's very reliable. Is it like S tier? I'm gonna probably say no, but it's like definitely in the A. Flavors are there. The meat cooked perfectly, flavored perfectly. The sides are complimentary to it, and they have garlic bread. That's a thumbs up. Definitely gotta check this place out. On to the next spot. All right, y'all, so now we're at Park City's finest barbecue in Echo Park. It's not your traditional barbecue joint. It is Filipino inspired, so I'm excited. But yo, we got some ribs, some mac and cheese, and I'm putting y'all on right now. I know this isn't like traditional, but I swear to it, I know this is because I am Filipino. White rice and barbecue is banging. And then they have two different kind of sauces. One is like a sweet, and then this one's kind of spicy. They said try it with both. And we have St. Louis ribs and riblets. Look at this rib. We're gonna try a riblet first. Mm. That's good pork. 
I'm gonna say this right now, and this might be biased too as well, but Filipinos know how to barbecue, bro. I swear to God, I know Americans can barbecue. Filipinos know how to throw it down on the barbecue grill, bro. Oh my God, look at that, bro. Mm. Look at how clean it comes off the bone, bro. This is like a, the sweet sauce. Mm. All right, that nice Filipino sweet sauce, you know what I'm saying? Mm. This is delicious. I love this stuff. It has a nice, like, kind of islandy flavor bar to it, you know? That good Filipino island barbecue. I'm telling y'all, bro, don't sleep on this. Damn, bro. Mm. All right, here's what I'm gonna say. The reason why white rice goes so good with barbecue, okay, when we think of barbecue, right, we think like mac and cheese, beans, collard greens, greens, right? Stuff like that, mashed potatoes, etc. Like white rice is in that is just so neutral. It's not oily. It just absorbs the oil and the meat and the fat really well. And it just complements it so well. If you see me eating barbecue at home like ever, I'm for sure eating it with rice, period. Riblet, now with the spicy sauce. Mm. This sauce was more like kind of a soy base, so it's a little too thin, but it's got that kick to it. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. It's so juicy, moist. We gotta get into this, but we have Noel's Gouda mac and cheese with like panko crust and stuff on it. The cheese on this is so crazy. It's just so good with the panko crust on top. I like a white cheese mac and cheese too, to be honest with you. It does have like a Filipino Asian island twist on it too. So total for all this, I think this is like 16, this is like 12, rice is like $3 on the side. It is bigger portion. Loki, I wouldn't come here to just eat by myself unless you're hungry or unless you're about the gains. I went to the gym this morning, prepared for this video because I knew I was going to eat a lot of protein. So, you know, that's just me though. Overall, I'm going to give it like an eight. And also too, you feel the love, you feel the hospitality. That's what Filipinos are about. Making you feel welcome, appreciated, comfortable while you're eating. Much love to all my Filipinos, my Pinoys out there, to Park's Finest, appreciate it. But on to the next spot. All right, y'all, now we are at Bloodshow's Bar and Q. It's on Fairfax near Melrose, kind of like Hollywood, West Hollywood area. This place is special because it comes from Texas. They were located in Compton and then they moved out here. Peep the spread. Look at this. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I am getting full. I am getting sleepy. But anyway, here we have more brisket. And then look at this freaking wiener, bro. This is a big wiener. It's a red hot beef link. First place, we're trying some cornbread. Comes with honey butter, and then uh, coleslaw. I asked what size or gas, and they said coleslaw. You don't really hear that. I know a lot of y'all don't like coleslaw. I personally really like coleslaw a lot, especially with barbecue. We're just gonna get into it. Mm. That's good cornbread. Wow. Some of the honey butter, I don't even think I need honey butter, bro. Wow, it's like not too sweet, which I like. You could really taste that corn, but it's gas. I'm trying it with the honey butter now. Mm. Oh my god, that's good honey butter, bro. This is great cornbread. I really like good cornbread. Nice and soft. I don't know how much all this came out to, but I think it came out probably like $35. Dang, it is so, it is so tender, bro, and juicy. Once again, two sauces. Wow, that's a good brisket. I ain't gonna lie, I think I like this better than the other brisket that we had earlier today. Mm. It has a nicer crunch to it, like on the char. You can really taste the peppercorn, and it's like really smoky. I like that a lot. Coleslaw, I like coleslaw. I'll trip it on coleslaw. Mm. That's good coleslaw. Coleslaw with barbecue, it just goes so well because it's like you're eating meat, you're eating, you know, sauce. Like it neutralizes it very well, in my opinion kind of balances it out. I feel like their meat is smoked more. I think on the menu I saw it was smoked for like 15 minutes or something like that. I don't think this is a spicy one. Look at that. Mm. Ooh, definitely got a nice kick to it. I will say this, this place has the most Texas barbecue taste to it, like the tray. Like when I went to Texas, like they give you it on a tray, like it comes on, you know? 
This looks very Texas to me, in my opinion. And I um, think their cornbread is better than the cornbread that I had in Texas. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. And the brisket tastes like Texas brisket. That's a W. All right, I'm gonna do this fat real quick. Look at that. Nice and fatty. A fatty for a fatty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm. Wow, melts in your mouth. Next, dude, this is a huge glizzy. Big sausage. Personally, when I eat barbecue, I love eating sausage, pause, but te like Terry Black's in te Austin, Texas, had some of the best sausage I ever had. And like, honestly, <laughs> I really look forward to eating sausage. I really like eating sausage when I eat barbecue. Like it's one of my favorite things, like a nice quality wiener, you know what I'm saying? I love that. Like it's just a nice, juicy, tasty sausage in my mouth, perfect. Oh yeah, that was gonna go so good. This would go so good with rice. Mm. This would go sausage. See like the spiciness of the sausage, and then you take a bite of the coleslaw. It just you know it balances out so well with with sauce. I would love to put that in a sandwich. This is some real ass barbecue. I ain't gonna lie. Good portion sizing. I don't know if it's because like we're. <clears throat> three places into this video, but it's a lot of food. I think the brisket is better, way better. I think I'm gonna give the brisket like a nine for brisket. Sausage, I think I'm gonna give it like an eight. Cornbread, I think is like a 8.59. Coleslaw, banging. Sauce is good too, I like their barbecue sauce a lot. This honey butter on the cornbread, crazy. I could tell like they take time cooking their meat. Everything is like 14 hours, so that's a long time. It just feels legit. Feels like Texas barbecue, not gonna lie. Definitely recommend this place. All right, on to the next spot. All right, y'all, uh, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm really full. It's a lot of food, a lot of heavy food, but we are now at Maple Block. It smells good, but I'm like in a parking lot. It's a vibe, kind of got like outdoor barbecue type situation. I've eaten here before with Jeff and James. They do have really good chicken wings here. But yeah, okay, I just wanna let you guys know I'm getting sleepy and I'm getting tired. Meat is so tiring, you know what I mean? It's just, it's very hard to eat a lot of it. The food settles and like driving all over LA and stuff and then it just gets really tough. But anywho, we're still going. It's okay. All right, y'all, so full plate here. As you can see, we got a variety of sides. This is a half a pound of ribs, but oh my God. That's a rib if I ever seen one before. These things are huge, bro. Damn! The big ribs. And we also got a glizzy. Waitress said that the glizzy was good. And then we got baked beans, potato salad. I love potato salad. And then mac and cheese again. Looks like they put like Doritos on it or Cheeto crumbles on it, but it's all good. And then they have two Oh, that's Dijon mustard. So we haven't had beans, but these beans look like chili, bro. I really like baked beans a lot. Waitress recommended this, so. Mm. There's even like pieces of pork in the beans. Look, that's crazy. Wow. The baked beans are like, it's like a baked bean soup. All right, potato salad. Mm. That's good potato salad. Mac and cheese, see what's up. A white mac and cheese. Good flavor. I'm not too fond of the cheddar crumbles, but the actual mac and cheese, I actually really like. I think mean, it was like $20 worth of sides. And look, they give you like Voss water, vase water, like how exquisite and elegant, you know? All right, we're going sausage first today. Mmm, that's some good sausage. Damn, that's really good. I like that a lot. Pickled onion, just regular pickles. Nice and sweet, you low key. My favorite thing of this is the baked bean, bro. That's crazy. All right, sauce time. You already know the vibes. I don't know what this honey Dijon mustard's for, but we're gonna. Mm. Their barbecue sauce is interesting. I'm not too sure if I'm crazy about it, but it's interesting. It's really sweet. Anyway, that's a great sausage. Look at that, bro. It's like pink, juicy, moist. Smells good, smoky, got a nice rub on it. Look at the char. Come on, stop playing with me. Mm. I'm gonna say this, pork ribs are better than beef ribs. I said it, this is really good. This might be the best cooked rib I had today. Wow, by itself, dang it, bro. It's so good, damn. Mm. 
I don't know how to say this, but I don't like their barbecue sauce. Like it tastes fine without the barbecue sauce. Is that is that crazy? I feel like that's kind of crazy. The meat by itself is like literally perfect, bro. Like this rib, I ain't gonna count. I'm gonna give it like a 9.5. It was really good. You know it took a long time to cook. For sure. Sides are amazing. I feel like these sides are like very like high restaurant quality sides, not like, you know, traditional, just like bar backyard barbecue sides. That was kind of like a more advanced, unique flavor profile to them. I ain't even cap y'all, bro. This might be like the best baked beans I think I ever had. Like there's pork, there's pork fat. It's like a soup. Oh my God. Sausage, great. Overall, sides are good. 8.5 for what it is. Cause you know, it's just, it's just quality. Only thing that's taking it down, in my opinion, has to be the barbecue sauce. Overall, I think today, all the barbecue places were bomb. They were very like unique and individual, like in their own way. Like this place has its like kind of more classy, upscale-y barbecue vibes. Swinging door was kind of more just like quick barbecue bites to go. Echo Park's finest is kind of more of a, you know, Filipino Asian kind of barbecue spot. And then uh, Bledsoe's was, I think in my opinion, just like the most traditional barbecue that you can get. Talking like a Texas barbecue and barbecue from the South, I felt like that was the closest one so that one probably had to be like my favorite for the day honestly all of these barbecue spots have been fantastic if you're ever in LA and you're looking for good barbecue because I know like it's hard to come by around here I would suggest all of these places you can't go wrong with any of them check them out all the info for these places are gonna be down in the link description thank you guys for watching again as always I appreciate the love leave a like if you like also if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me on the road to 50k and I'll catch y'all next one peace